हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर चैनल डायनेमिक 365 प्रोफेशनल सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ पावर ऑटोमेट फ्लो वी वुड बी क्रिएटिंग द एनवायरनमेंट वेरिएबल्स क्रिएट ऑटोमेटेड क्लाउड फ्लो विद डेटावर्स ट्रिगर क्रिएट रिकॉर्ड यूआरएल क्रिएट सीआरएम ईमेल मैसेज रिकॉर्ड एंड देन सेंड द ईमेल सो आवर यूज केस सिनेरियो इज व्हेन एन अकाउंट इज क्रिएटेड इन द सीआरएम send an email to the owner of account with the record url of the account so now let's jump to make.powerapps.com so for that search make.powerapps.com in the browser here my environment is selected that is d365 professional uh for that i'm first creating a solution so click on solutions then in order to create a new solution click on this new solution and give the name as per your requirement i'm giving the name as power automate tutorial i'm selecting the default publisher and if you want to create a new publisher you can uh, create a new one from here and uh, i'm going to uh, create so uh, a solution is basically a container of all our customizations so now our solution created successfully so first we need to create a environment variable in which we would be storing the app id of sales sir so for that we will click on this new then more and then we will be selecting environment variable here we will give the display name display name i am giving as sales sir app id this is the schema name i am giving the description as this is app id of sales sub app now we would need to select the data type and the data type i am selecting would be text so now here uh, this would be the default value and when you would be importing your solution to another environment you can also add the new value as per your environment so how you would get the app id is just navigate to a record in the required app this is my sales sub app and i will copy this url and this is the url and here you would see app id equal so this is the app id of our app so i will copy it from here then paste it as a default value and click on save so yes our environment variable created and now i need to create one more environment variable that would be storing the organization url so for example you would be having different environments like dev qa and production so all those will have different organization url so for that we would be creating one more environment variable again we would be clicking on new then more and then environment variable i'm giving the name as organization url and then i am giving the description this is the url of current organization i would be selecting the data type as text and here the default value i am inputting this this is my organization url So I'm inputting it here and click on save. So now I need to create my Power Automate flow. So for that, let's click on this new. 
automation, cloud flow. And here we have three types of cloud flows, automated, instant, scheduled. In the further videos, we would also be covering the instant and scheduled. But for now, I'm selecting this automated. And for now, you can click on this skip. Yes, from here, you can uh, give the name to your Power Automate flow. I'm giving the name as Sandy Mail. You first need to click over here. Send email to account owner. Now, I need to add the automated data wash trigger. So for that, I'm clicking on this Microsoft Dataverse. And here we have the list of triggers that we have for Dataverse. And now as per our requirement, I would be selecting this fan row is added, modified or deleted. So we have the different change types here. So as per your requirement, you can use added, added or deleted, added, modified, added, deleted, when you want to trigger your power automate flow. So as per my requirement, I only need to add this added. So I only want to trigger this power automate flow when the account is created. So for that, we can select the table name here. Just click on this drop down and search for accounts and select accounts and the scope would be organization. Now the best practice would be to rename your every action and trigger to make it easy for review so i am selecting i am giving the name as when an account is created so now i need to initialize a variable for the record url so for that i will click on this new step i would be searching for variable and then click on this initialize variable. We can give the name of our variable such that I need to give as record URL. We can also give the data type. I'm giving the data type as string and renaming it as initialize variable record URL. Now, I need to create the organization URL. So similarly, as you have in your code, here you also have set variable. So I would be searching for set variable. So here we have this section set variable. And here, if you click on this drop down you would be getting the list of all the variables that you have initialized previously in your Power Automate flow. So now I am setting the variable initial record URL. So now we would be again renaming it as set variable record URL. And here in the value First, and first we will enter a hard-coded URL of an account record that we have previously copy-paste. So this is the URL. I would be selecting this and pasting this here. Then here in the organization, so this is the organization URL. This is the app ID. And this is the GUID of the record. So first, the organization URL, we would be replacing with the environment variable that we have created. That is organization URL. Then here, we also created an environment variable for the app ID. So we would be entering the app ID here, the environment variable that we have created for app ID, that is sales of app ID. And now we would need to enter the GUID of the account record. So GUID, we would be getting from here, this trigger body. So we would be searching here for account 
and here you would be getting this account unique identifier so from here you would be getting the guid so this variable will return us the record url of this account and now as per our requirement we need to create a email message so for that i will click on this news tab we would be searching for add a new row so we have a action from the microsoft dataverse that is add a new row we would be selecting the table name as email messages we would be renaming it again as create email message record so here we have the activity party attribute fun so here you will select the bcc cc from related and to i want to send this to the owner of the account so i would be selecting it to and here the owner is basically a, a system user record in our crm so for that setting the two value how we would set a lookup in crm power automate flow is we will write slash system users the schema name the plural schema name of the entity and slash we would be en entering the guid of the record so guid would be we would be getting from owner value so owner value from this we would be getting the guid of the owner now we would also give the subject here so if we would be searching for subject so this is the subject and subject i am giving as account creation reminder and in the description we can add the description so this is the description here we would be adding the description hi an account is created below is the record url of the account to break the line i am using the html br tag and here you can also write your html to make the link more user friendly so i write it a small line this is so i'm copying it from here and pasting it here like this i would be giving the name as title as go to account and here i would be entering the record url that would be the value of our variable record url okay then we need to send this email message so okay now we need to send this email so for that we would click on this news tab then click on this microsoft dataverse and search for perform a bound action here the table name we would be selecting as email message action name at send email and we would be giving the guid of the email so from the create email message record this from here we would be getting the guid 
and select this issue send as yes. We would again renaming it as send email. Now we would be saving this Power Automate flow. Click on the save button. So now click on this test manually and then test. After that, I'm going to our CRM and create a new account that is my trigger. I'm giving the account name as Anurag Tyagi text test account. and just save it so you would see my power automate flow start running and my power automate flow start run successfully the email is sent and if i go to the activities and search for all activities so you would see the email message record is created successfully. For now, the status reason is pending send because this is a trial environment and the mailbox is not active. But in, in the real scenario, if your mailbox is active, then you would be seeing the status reason as set. So this is my subject account creation reminder and here you would see the HTML text words and if I open this go to new go to account in new tab so it will take me to the account record. So you will see it takes me to the account that we have just created. So this our power automate flow run successfully. Hope this helps. Thank you.